A 15-year-old boy is now in police custody and facing charges related to the death of professional boxer and Baltimorean Ernest, uh, who two weeks ago lost his life in a mass shooting. Hall was known as a mentor in the community, and as those who love him are still devastated and left reeling with such a loss. WJC's Live, Jessica Albert is outside police headquarters. Jessica, you spoke with Hall's sisters. What is she saying about this arrest? Well, Vic, Ernest Hall's sister tells me that she is very appreciative that this was this arrest was made quickly, but she says she's even more devastated to learn that the suspect is a teenager. An arrest in connection with a mass shooting that killed Baltimore boxer and community advocate Ernest Hall and injured five others. The suspect, a 15-year-old boy. I'm sad to know that it was the youth that, you know, take him away. WJZ spoke with Hall's sister, Megan Watts, after she learned a teenager is who police believe is involved in the shooting that ended her brother's life. Because that's what he was fighting for. He was fighting for our youth, and for them to take him away is really... Outrageous. The shooting happened on March 23rd near a gas station in the 2800 block of Edmondson Avenue. Family said Hall was there just getting something to eat and was caught in the crossfire. Police tell WJZ they're looking into additional suspects. Hall dedicated his life to boxing and used that skill to help others, building a gym in Mount Vernon. He was running his gym for these children because when we were growing up, he grew up without a father, so he knew what it was, it was like to not have a positive role model. Hall had three children of his own, but was also a father figure to many more. He was the best role model for this family, for my son. Watts says the family is working to keep his gym open to preserve his legacy. He was holding us all together as far as being like my brothers and sisters. It just really took a, turn, a toll on my life because we was just getting somewhere. We was just beginning to make our bond stronger. And Hall's funeral is planned for Friday. Again, Baltimore police say they're looking into additional suspects and they want you to give them a call if you know anything about this shooting. Reporting live tonight in Baltimore, Jessica Albert for WJZ.